Stuart, we're at Mac 2018. Now, it's okay buying a machine, but you look after the uh, maintenance side of the uh, Star GB company sales. Now, what happens when a customer actually buys a machine? What's the process? Right, okay, from the process right from the start, when, uh, when we set a date for delivery, then we, we book in all the suppliers to come in um, to our head office where everything's all fitted in-house. Uh, we have two PDI engineers that are permanently based there, uh, getting the machines ready, checking them all over um, to get them ready for the delivery date. And what sets you apart from your competition? Um, we offer, uh, we, we, we actually install everything, right from the machine, um, the bar feeder, um, the high pressure unit, uh, we install the whole lot on site at the customer. So w w when an engineer comes to fit this, or a couple of engineers come, come to fit, depending on what type of machine it is, what you're actually saying is they complete the installation within a, a set period of time? Yeah, I mean, most of the time there's one engineer that will go out on site to do the installation, and it's usually done within two days. And when you're looking at the, uh, the training side, uh, once that machine is uh, PDI'd and ready to go, uh, what, what's the process there? Um, what we normally do is we offer some training in-house, um, usually before the machine actually hits uh, the customer's floor. Um, so they have basic programmer training in-house at our head office and then once the machine's installed, usually the next week as a, one of our application engineers um, will visit the customer and do um, on-machine training. And for a lot of companies, if a machine does go down, and it does happen unfortunately yeah. sometimes, we're all human, uh, what's the process for Star GB? Yeah, I mean, normally first port of call will be Lauren, our service coordinator. She'll take the call and then usually pass it on to myself. Um, we usually talk to the customer, try and get as much information from the customer, alarms, um, what's happening, um, and then obviously we'll arrange for an engineer to visit as, as quick as possible. Um, and all the parts that we think we may need to get the customer back up and running again is sent ahead for the engineer. Um, they, they're usually there on site before the engineer gets there. Well, you're, you're, it's going to cost them money if you're not there and yeah, actually fix him. Correct. Yeah, I mean, most of the time, if a customer rings up, we're usually there within 24 hours to 48 hours on site trying to help them out. A lot of the time, we try and do diagnose the issue and try and get them up and running um, via the telephone conversation. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Stuart. Okay, thank you.